A marine biologist has discovered a giant blue hole in the Great Barrier Reef, and what's inside it is incredible. I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know here for you on IO. Welcome back to Inform Overload, I'm Charlotte Dobre. So if you didn't know already, the Great Barrier Reef is dying. Experts announced earlier this year that the rising sea temperatures were causing severe coral bleaching. When water is too warm, corals will expel the algae living in their tissue. This turns the coral completely white, and around 95% of the Great Barrier Reef has experienced this. Which is like, let's face it, pretty bad. The World Heritage Site known as the Great Barrier Reef is the world's largest coral reef system. It's one of the seven wonders of the natural world. It's home to millions of sea creatures, and it's the only living thing that you can actually see from space. So the fact that it's 95% dead is kinda heartbreaking to be honest. But a marine biologist named Johnny Gaskell made a trip to the Great Barrier Reef, much further offshore than he's used to. He found an absolutely massive blue hole using Google Maps. And decided to visit it. The thing about this hole is that it's located in a part of the reef that was ripped apart by a category 4 cyclone 5 months ago. I know right, it's like the Great Barrier Reef can't catch a break. But when Johnny and his team went free diving down the hole, what they found defies explanation. And no, they didn't find a mermaid or Nessie. Just thought I would get those two options out of the way. What they did find was untouched corals. Live ones. At around 15 to 20 meters deep, there were gigantic staghorn corals and bird's nest corals, among the biggest he's ever seen, and they were completely untouched by the cyclone and had not experienced any coral bleaching whatsoever. According to Amusing Planet, a blue hole is an underwater sinkhole formed by erosion of carbonate rocks. So, why has 95% of the GBR experienced coral bleaching, yet the coral in this gigantic hole has not? Because this blue hole is so deep, it has protected these corals for decades. Likely, the temperature of the water is a a little bit colder in that hole. Johnny and his team are not revealing the location of the blue hole to protect it from divers and fishermen. But since discovering this hole, he's discovered two other ones, which will hopefully contain pockets of wildlife untouched by the environmental changes in the Great Barrier Reef. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna respond to some comments now. Engineer Guy 23 said, Hi Potato Queen, your channel is how I get my news and my dose of potatoes. Hi Engineer Guy, glad you enjoy our news and here's a potato for you. Karen Del Rosario said, I've never been this early. Am I addicted to IO? It is completely socially acceptable to be addicted to IO. I mean, like, at least you're learning, right? Harjosh Verdi said, Charlotte, can you dab, please? Every time I dab, you guys make fun of my dab. And it makes it makes me really sad. <laughs> Dab on them haters! <laughs> we have made it to the end of the video. Obviously my dab wasn't that bad, otherwise you would have clicked out of the video like as fast as possible. Listen, I got a favor to ask. IO has set up this thing called Patreon where you can sign up to be a patron of IO for as little as $2 a month. Donating to our channel will guarantee you a shout out, plus there's other perks, so click this link right over here to find out what they are. And if you want to continue watching IO, check out that video right over there about a man who claims to be from 2048 who has gone back in time to warn us of an alien invasion. I'll see you in that video.